let's talk about naming conventions. So I have this block of code. Um, essentially a container, a row, it has some you know tags in it and stuff. And if we look at it in our code here, you'll see that it looks like this. Pretty horrible, right? But it does the job, right? Now, when I look at this, there's no real consistency here, right? If you pass this off to another developer and he was looking at this, he would have no clue what to change, right? You'd be in a site.css and be looking everywhere that he could, right? So what I want to introduce to you guys is this idea of a consistent naming convention for CSS, right? Whereas if I have one block of information, right? I have a column six, a column six. These are things that could be repeated, right? They contain headers and paragraphs and links and an image on the left side, right, or right side. So let's give it a proper naming convention. So let's go to the parent class um, of this block of code and let's give it something like info, right? Because this is information that I might display on a home page, right? You can name it whatever you want. All we're doing is giving the parent class the start, right? So info is one thing, right? And I might name this one info dash left right and this one could be info dash right logic right so <clears throat> now that I have info as the parent class and it wraps everything I also have this info dash left and info dash right that makes sense right so if I'm on my site.css I have a dot info class that I could have and I could have properties in there that could you know change it background dash color you know uh, to a like gray or something. And then if I have dot info dash left, I immediately know that I'm affecting the left side of my info class without even looking at the HTML, right? So I don't have to go back and forth between pages, right? So what this allows me to do is then break it down even further, right? So now I have this obscure ID here, I have a class here, I have you know an important ID. Again, you're mixing things up, they don't all go together. If I just see link on the back end, doesn't really make sense. So what we want to do is just introduce this idea of in like kind of an inheritance thing. So now it becomes info dash left dash headers, right? And then I could do class equals here, info dash left dash headers dash um, h1, right? Because it's an h1 tag. Um, and then I could do this one instead of sub as h2, right? And then instead of id important, we could do go back to our inheritance, which is just info dash left here dash p. Or you could write out paragraph, right? If I could spell right. And then I could do here info dash left dash uh, link, right? And then on my info dash right, instead of just image, info dash right dash image, right? And what this is allows us to do also is it keeps it contained. So if I would just use link here, for instance, I might have a, a ton of links throughout my file as I build it or on different pages. And they might be overwritten by just this class link. So I might overwrite link to be something else on a different page, but it would change this one. So if I keep it to info dash left dash link, I at least know that this is the home page, it's on my left side, and it's the link that I want to be read, right? And this way it becomes consistent. My info is a block that my parent holds, and all the children just jump info dash left, info dash left headers, info dash left headers h1, right? And that's pretty much the naming convention that I like to stick to. And that's it.